Hello everyone, Darren Wood from the Customer Insights team here to provide you a demo today of the custom report authoring experience that we've released into public preview with the Engagement Insights capability. What I'm showing you right now is a simple example of a dashboard that I built using the capability. Let me go ahead and create a new report to show you how you can use this feature within Engagement Insights to look at your data the way that you need to. So you'll see that we have a library here on the right of available visualizations, column charts, bar charts, line time series, that kind of stuff. We have tables as well. I'll just start by inserting a simple table, choosing a metric such as page views, and then I can choose whatever dimension I would like. Let's start with something simple like page name. Sort this by page views. And you can see that I now have the ability to see the total page views by page name for the time range that I'm looking at. Let's make this a little longer. So that's pretty cool, but let's say I also want to add another dimension and say, I wanna look at page title as well. Just simply add that dimension, make this a little bigger so we can see it. And you see that we now have page name, page title, and page views. So very simple to combine the dimensions and metrics necessary to create the view that you need to create to see the data. Now, this is a table visualization. I can go ahead and add in a new visualization, and let's actually this time put in a line chart. We'll go ahead and do a different metric this time. Let's use visitors, and we'll keep the day, uh, but let's split this by new versus returning visitors. So now you see we have a line chart, pretty simple to create, that shows us new versus returning visitors by day for the week. Insert another visual really quickly. This time let's use a donut chart and we'll use this donut chart to get an understanding of our visitors broken down by device type. You can use this functionality to create virtually any type of visualization combination metrics and dimensions that you require to answer the business questions at hand. Once you've created the report, you can name it. save it and then it'll be available to you here in the custom reports list so that you can go back in access that report pick up where you dropped share it with someone do whatever you need to do hope you found this information helpful go ahead and play with this functionality take it for a test drive provide us any feedback and ask us questions in the community thanks very much and have a great day